All right, so I got another case, two Emacs uh, press I'm working on. Before I start, I always wax up the impressions, I wax up the margin areas, just to so I can I can repeatedly uh, pour it up without uh, destroying or pulling out my margin areas. So that's how I protect my margin areas. So I learned this if I want to preserve the uh, margin areas. Plus, when I uh, pull it out, when I'm when I uh, when the impression is set, when the sewn is set, you will see that the margin is like uh, very very noticeable. Like I already have a little bit, like kind of semi dye dye trimming, so it's gonna you know. So I put the wax. But now I'm, I'm start uh, pouring up my impression. So I'm starting from the heel of the impression or the back of the impression. So I'm trying to, you know, vibrate uh, and then look in and then keep moving my, uh, like I, I'm looking at the flow of the, uh, of the stone, making sure that I'm not, I'm not trapping no air. So I'll, Pour it up. My goal for this case is to be done in two days, so that's including the uh, the stonework. Okay, so as soon as I get this thing done, uh, the dye work, then I will start waxing up again. So here you go. I'm trying to pour it up, pour it up. So I don't need to get a thick base because I know I'm going to trim it. So I inverted it. Put it like that, a little bit, and while well, I just wait until it's set. So make sure that I have. Now it's when it's set, so you can see how clear and clean you can see the margin. Here you go. So that's the margin. You can see it's right there. The wax is still attached to the uh, impression, and that's it. So here you go. Got it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.